A few months ago, the Bank of Industries signed a memorandum of understanding with the National Agency for Food and Drugs Administration and Control, NAFDAQ. Today, one of the outcomes is the commissioning of the state-of-the-art high-performance liquid chromatography instrument installed at the NAFDAQ Central Drug Control Laboratory in CDCL, Yaba, Lagos. The equipment is expected to ensure that only the right quality of food, drugs and other regulated products manufactured, sold and used in Nigeria get the NAFDAQ certification in record time. To this end, only manufacturers whose products pass the laboratory test here can secure funding at the Bank of Industry. Reacting to BOI supports, the Acting Director General of NAFDAQ, Mrs. Yetundioni, says the equipment will help improve efficiency at the agency by reducing chances of counterfeiting of products regulated by it. Our operations are guided by compliance with the rule of law. To further smoothing her operations, apart from the law as setting up NAFDAQ, there are other regulatory instruments such as regulations, guidelines, standard operating procedures, all in compliance with best global practices, all of which are well established and institutionalized in NAFTA. Let me dwell a bit on the reason we are here and say a bit more about the Laboratory Services Directorate. It may interest us to know that we have a total of 13 directorates, but we'll just focus on the lab because that is the reason we are here. The Laboratory Services Directorate has a statutory and most important mandate of making pronouncements on both safety and quality of regulated products by carrying out comprehensive and analytical tests of all regulated products. The Central Drug Laboratory, Yaba, where we are presently, is one of the seven laboratories the agency depends on to make pronouncements on the quality of regulated products, especially human medicines, herbal medicines, cosmetics, and medical devices. The question may arise as to what has happened to other regulated products controlled by NAFDAQ. The analysis of those ones are domiciled in other six laboratories. This CDCL Yaba is specifically for drug and allied products. Laboratory operations require the following mandatory and standard operating procedures. Periodic calibration and qualification of equipment used in the analysis of regulatory products general maintenance of the facility, including providing the required laboratory water for analysis, regular and steady supply of chemicals, reagents, procurement and replacement of equipment, regular preventive maintenance of equipment, mandatory participation in interlaboratory testing, and of course, not forgetting the need to regularly train and retrain staff of the lab on current analytical techniques in quality control and quality assurance of medicines. Since these laboratories operations are capital intensive, a capital budget is never adequate. Therefore, NAVDAC is constantly thinking outside the box and be on the lookout for opportunities to sustain operations of our laboratories, bearing in mind the fact that the lab is the heart and the backbone of the agency. Hence, we signed an MOU with BOI to support NAFDAQ with laboratory equipment, and one in the comprehensive list is the one that we just commissioned a while ago. We look forward to other equipment in no distant future from the BOI. In Nigeria, 
NAVDAC has always been in the forefront of institutionalizing quality in her laboratories. This is evidenced by the ISO IE17025-2005 laboratory accreditation in different analytical techniques in four out of seven laboratories in NAFTA. Four out of the seven are already internationally accredited. We are not going to stop at that. We are going to ensure that the international accreditation covers all the laboratories. Permanent Secretary, Federal Ministry of Health, Mrs. Binta Bello, is the special guest of honor. Effective stakeholder collaboration with NAVDA, such as donation of the right specification of equipment, as we have witnessed today, is a step in the right direction. And I appeal, I appeal and call on all partners to come to the assistance of NAVDA. You know the challenges. Financial challenges cannot be overemphasized. Much as the agency want to want to do what is supposed to be done, but it has financial challenges like in any other public sector. I therefore appeal to all agencies, development partners, private sectors to come to the intervention program of NAFTA and donate all the necessary equipment and reagents to ensure that NAVDAC perform its duty effectively and efficiently to the benefit of Nigerians, so that we will be able to prevent illness, disabilities, and sudden death as a result of consumption of counterfeit drugs. Acting MD CEO Bank of Industry, Wahid Olagunju, explains why supporting this project is strategic. Well, we decided to collaborate with NAVDAC to ensure that they're able to serve um, Nigerian enterprises better. Nigerian enterprises that produce um, NAVDAC regulated uh, products, i.e. food or, or drugs that are sold uh, to the Nigerian public. As far as the Bank of Industry is concerned, we require that our customers should get NAVDAC registration before they can access our facilities. And we notice that there's usually a time lag, there's usually a long delay before they can get, get back to us. So while discussing with NAVDAC management, we are told that the turnaround time can be reduced if they acquire this equipment. Because they were telling us that hitherto it takes them like about a whole day to do just five products. But now with this equipment, we we'll understand that you can do how many? About 200. About 200 in a day. So that will increase the turnaround time, the service delivery for our current and potential customers. And when that happens, that means they can, that will, they will be able to access credit in terms of enhancing access to credit. And access to credit is one of the measurements used for determining um, the ease of doing business. You know, because access to credit, if you are not able to access credit, it's a challenge in terms of ease of doing business. And the federal government of Nigeria is determined to ensure that Nigeria moves about 20 positions higher on the, uh, on the, on the ladder. Because that's so satisfactory where we are now. So but if we're able to increase access to credit, enhance access to credit, then that will help the ease of doing business in the country. And that's why NADAC was able to give the federal government an assurance that with this equipment, they can give, uh, guarantee a turnaround time of 60 days, which is quite impressive. With this new acquisition facilitated by the Bank of Industry, Nigerians can rest assured that only genuine regulated products will make it to the marketplace. That's our show for today. The Bank of Industry has vowed to increase its support to MSMEs. You are captured in that plan if you're a genuine entrepreneur. Reach out to the Bank of Industry today. Visit any of their 22-plus branches spread across the country or visit their website at boi.ng. That will be the first step. I'm also available to respond to your inquiries on Twitter at K-A-Y-A-L-I-O-N-D. 
BOI has also made it easy for you to apply for loans online in a bit to shorten the turnaround time for processing loans. Simply download the BOI SME loan app from the Google Play Store and follow the instructions. To watch previous editions of the program, go to youtube.com, type BOI Weekly in the search area, and they're all there for you to see. Many thanks for watching. I'm Kaya Dialayande. Bye now.